So I'm here in Lathbar, County Offaly, and today I'm cooking this really nice spiced lamb cutlets with this winter slaw. Absolutely delicious. I'm here in a bog, and they have this most amazing sculpture park where they've dug up these materials and made these amazing sculptures out of the materials. Uh, we better get cooking before the midgets actually kill us. So first what we gotta do is we gotta get our cumin and we're gonna make it like a rub. Okay, so get your pestle and mortar, add about a tablespoon of cumin seeds in there, okay? What we need then is some sea salt as well. So when you got your sea salt, about a good pinch of sea salt in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bash this up here and muddle this around inside our pestle and mortar. We're gonna add some fresh thyme uh, sprigs to that as well. So add in your fresh thyme like that. Don't be afraid to get in there and muddle that up and get this amazing spice rub that's gonna go on your lamb. It's gonna be so good. So tip this onto your lamb, okay? Like that. So these are our lovely lamb cutlets, which we've got from our butcher, and they are delicious. Just ask them to uh, actually cut up the French trimmed uh, rack of lamb inside the shop there. So get rid of that. We're gonna get ourselves some oil here. Sprinkle on your oil, like that, okay? And then we get our hands in here and we massage it like you would massage your girlfriend or your wife, I suppose, okay? So men out there, get these and massage your wife. <laughs> Sorry again. What we gotta do is we gotta give them a good massage, okay? So massage them like you would massage your, or, sorry. So what we gotta do is get our hands in there and massage them like you would massage her feet, okay? Get your hands in there, all right? And massage them like you would massage her feet. <laughs> Can't believe I said that. Use that one, okay? Anyway, so what we're gonna do is just get your hands in there Get them in there, massage in, and this also like tenderizes the meat loads in here, okay? Now make sure you have clean hands when you're doing this, okay? And uh, that's really important. Okay, so massage, all done, like that, okay? And that's all the spice rub, mop it all up there, like that. And then we're gonna put this on our pan. Poke it, poke it like you mean it. Do you like my little Justin Bieber flick, do <laughs> Okay, so get your lamb. And this goes on to the pans. So we'll just do two at a time, okay? Because they are gigantic. There we go. And hear that sizzle? That's exactly what you want. Yeah. So we're gonna let them cook away. They normally take up to four, five, six minutes, depending on the thickness of them, and depending how much you've like bashed them down when you're massaging them. After you have your lamb done, what you're gonna do is you should get your winter slaw and make it. So what you need for your winter slaw is we need some sliced red onion sliced red cabbage and some sliced carrot as well, okay? Okay, so for your winter slaw, to make it really nice, white wine vinegar goes in there. Okay, what's the health benefits of white wine vinegar? What we're gonna do is we're gonna add in white wine vinegar and what it actually does is it aids in absorption, absorption, sorry, of calcium, okay? So it's great. Add in your white wine vinegar there, about two tablespoons. We're gonna add in some honey. Make sure you could use, if you can get it open, uh, Good quality uh, honey in here. So about the same amount of honey as white wine vinegar goes in there as well. In that goes, okay. Sometimes limes are really funny. They can have loads of juice and then sometimes they don't have any at all. So if it doesn't have loads of juice, add in the whole lime, uh, like this one. Give that a good mix there and allow that then to like dress the uh, winter slaw and be absolutely delicious, okay? So set that to one side until we're serving. Come back to your lamb, okay? And then you just grab the little handles and just turn them, okay? So see that golden color there? Color is always flavor and I can't stress that enough. They look amazing. So, so good, I can't wait to try this, okay? Last but not least, to finish off your winter slaw, just a little bit of pinch of salt in there. And that just brings all the flavors together and makes it really good and tasty. So the beauty about cumin is that it aids in digestion, okay? So it clears you out. And uh, it's found in most like curry powders. It's like the base flavor. It's quite strong, so be careful of how much you use, okay? These guys are nearly ready. 
You just turn them again. And they smell amazing. If only you can smell this at home. Just the flavor in there. So you press on them. Like you do with your steak. The same preference. And then I would recommend serving these medium to medium well. And they're absolutely perfect then. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> right, so they're good to go. Here we go. Take them off. Onto your plate. Like that. Turn off the pan. Get your winter slaw. Add that on there. So like you can bundle this on with your hand. Even. Just like that. And the colours are amazing. Colour is flavour and I always stress that. Okay? Look at that. Just look at it. Like It's amazing. Look. Get yourself a little sprigs of thyme, the little thyme leaves, just to finish it off and just pick them on at the end. They're like that and they are amazing. All right, and they add that lovely freshness. And just remind you then that you've got fresh thyme in there as well. There we go. Okay, so I'll turn around, get a good look at that. Huh? Follow me in, Trip. Look at this right? So all you've got to do is tuck in and this is my favourite part. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Mm. Well, guys don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you later. Okay. Oh. Mm. Just eat a caveman style. Anyway. Mm. Mm. I'm like a pig eating here. Well. So I'm finished.